Are you cold? <laughs> oh, it's freezing out here. All right, so we have another exciting day for you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys liked our other live auction videos. Oh, they to, did. Yeah, they did for <laughs> sure. Today we're back in Kentucky. We're not going to tell you exactly where, but we found a live auction, so we're going to be doing it. Um, we have absolutely no idea what to expect though, but the listing did say there was four estates. Four full estates, yeah. So and we're hoping is, for the best. Yeah, and this is supposed to be supposedly like a storage unit place, so it might just be stuff that they pulled out from storage units. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go check it out. We're going to do the preview right now. Let's go see what they got. All right. I like how it's all like hidden more. Yeah. So these look like for sure they just came straight out of a storage unit. Yeah. Right? At least there's totes. Yeah. Some cool hats. Oh man. Oh, let's see if there's anything we'd want to bid on. Huh? All right. Have All right. Know. So you got some coach purses. Looks, and that stick we just picked up one of those too. What is that? Like Brahmin. Oh, right? oh yeah, we did. And, uh, I haven't listed it yet, but it was good. What was that like the Highway 121 cell? Like the random yes. highway cell that we went to? Uh, yeah, one of those random ones. Yeah. That's in really good condition, coach. Oh it's yeah. Pink. That's clean. Okay. What does that say? Made in Italy. Proto Cario. I'm upside down, so I'm yeah. not even gonna try. <laughs> made in Italy. That's cool. I do like made in Italy. This looks like yeah. it might be one of those Brahmin. That looks like that other leather. I don't know if that strap looks like Oh, yeah, that's cool. Some good stuff in there. There's another one. Okay. Wait, this one. Oh, gosh. That's gonna be a box of I all feel boxes. Like I shouldn't even pull this out. No, no. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but. I don't see another. Like three of these Brahmin bags. Of oh, so wow. Three this of them? Let me see that one. That one looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. Right off the bat, looking at. What is that a Dooney? No, I think no. it's that Brahmin again. Oh, yeah. Full of the Brahmin. I need to put this in. Okay, we're going to just nice. tuck all this junk back in here. Okay. I call it junk as a wink wink. <laughs> Wink, junk, junk. Uh, Ooh, we might need to bid on this one. Don't you use these at the house? Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 10 count right there. Dang. I wonder if they're just going to be standing like we did the last one, you think? Like going Probably. down the... Just bid per box, maybe? Yeah. Well, you're the only lady here so far, so hopefully they'll give you bid dibs on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I should have wore gloves yeah. for this first part. Maybe we could find a set in here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna find another cool box and show you guys. Oh, Ooh, look at that guy. That's cool. Oh my goodness. He's cute. He is big. Yeah. It's sad he's missing his little thing because that's where the, like, we where might have found out. Where you can tell where it's yeah. from, yeah. We might be able to do like a Google image on him or something. I, know, I don't want to draw too much attention right now. Yeah, it's okay. I'm trying to learn my lesson from the last one. Yeah. A little a little scary. Scary guy. Yeah. Is that the Wizard of Oz scarecrow? I don't know. I've tin Man. I've That's who it is. I've never seen him in the blue. Right? Oh, yeah. Because he's kind of tin looking? He's like a tinny scarecrow. <laughs> and a puppy dog angel. <laughs> <laughs> so random. Okay. Oh, is that the lid? What? Oh, those are, oh that is really cool. Oh, that cool. is not the lid for that, oh. but there's three boxes that has this. Three boxes of Vitrix? Vitrix. Have you ever heard of that? I haven't. It has Vitrix, a signature, and then 1986 on the bottom of that piece. Okay. That's gorgeous. That's very nice. Oh, it's cold as heck on my hands. <laughs> Guys, it's like 33 degrees. Yeah. We got to figure out these. I'm going to look into these really quick. Okay. Awesome. This I one says 92, I think. 1992. I don't know. Thomas Raz. Okay. What are those even, babe? I don't know. They might be little uh, vases, maybe, for like a single flower. Maybe, because I was thinking I was going to find a lid. But I'm not yeah. Do you have your phone? I can try to Google them while we're uh, while we're checking them out, or just search them up. I'm going to search eBay, the brand. Right? I think yeah, on eBay really quick and just okay, do vase. Cool. Yeah, they're really cool. They're beautiful. They're interesting, you know. Yeah. Hmm. And for some perspective, we have one hour and four minutes to go through all this. Yeah, it starts, so we so got to go through it pretty quick. Yeah, we're pretty good though. They have a lot yeah. of furniture. Oh, that, I wonder if you can go in that warehouse store. Oh, probably. Vitrix. <laughs> oh man, it's cold. Why do you touch that glass with your cold hands? <laughs> oh yeah? What color do you think this one's going to be? Um, purple. Purple. Oh, 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 come on out. Oh, is it green? Oh, that's Oh beautiful. my goodness, it's green. It's pretty. Looks like it's never seen the light of day. It's, okay. They try. are hand signed. That's crazy. Yeah. It's 1987. I think each one had a different signature, it looked like, too. Oh, really? So, Maybe it's like the Murano of the 90s. 
All right, how are we looking? Well, look, look at that one, baby. Oh, shoot, that one best off around 175. And these are the swirls that look like ours. Tuck it back in. Yeah, we put it the way we found it. And who knows what else is in here. That might be even more. It kind of oh, seems yeah, like there feel, is. Maybe we should just it. leave it and... Yeah, okay. It's a cool little box. The tags on oh. the inside too. Oh, wow, brand new with tags and Linux. Originally 23.50 on sale half off. Just for one? For one teacup. That's a really cute teacup. Isn't it beautiful? It's got little <laughs> like hand-painted touches in there. And then they have plush in here with it though. Like oh. it's such a random, this is gun. It's like an older gun in very nice condition. 87, cow. Dang. Seems like most of the people here are just people that work here. Yeah. There's <laughs> a like, few resellers though. Yeah. Man, this is gonna be a random assortment though. Yeah, I feel like. It might be fun though. Just right? like buy it unseen. Yeah, and just go <laughs> through it like later. Yeah. All right, so this box is very interesting. So we took a little peek and we saw some lamps in there. Mm -hmm. And Kayla's like, oh, is that the horn lamps? I'm like, I have no idea. So we're going to pull it out. Um, so you're saying these horn lamps could be worth some money? I think so. So just recently I was trying to up my game on like just brass lamps in general. Yeah. And so I filtered all the lamps from the highest to the lowest that have sold in okay. the past. Okay, so these aren't actual horns, these are right? New it's just a tags. swirl. What? Does yeah. it say Avon on the back, though? Oh, no. that's a card somebody, like, attached oh, for somebody's okay. birthday, it looks like. So maybe this was a Christmas gift or something? Because these are, like, vintage cords on there. Yeah, so. but it's in, like, that perfect condition. That is a gorgeous lamp. And is it, is it a set of two of the same ones? Yeah, maybe? I think so. Let's see what it is. is. Yeah. Those are gorgeous. Maybe let's not pull them all the way out. Yeah, yeah. There might be something on the bottom. No, it's just two lamps. But those are cool. Yeah. I mean, the set of two might be, might be a cool little set, you know? Yeah. Let's just look in here. Is this lamps too? Yeah, the, the side even says lamps of the box okay. there. So, oh, oh these one, are different. Yeah, this is. It's got rocks in there. Oh, coffee beans. That's why I said coffee oh, lamps. This is cool. Oh, oh man, maybe we shouldn't put these out. Of That's a cool lamp. <laughs> Gosh, right. that is so cool. Let it has just... a little door on this side. Yeah. Is this actually twisty twist? No. I don't think so, but it's really cool. It is very Let me cool. see if someone who makes it. I think it's just like a custom piece, maybe. Yeah. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Yeah, and there's a lampshade down here. Mm -hmm. And possibly something else in that little thing. There's These are have things in them. Okay, yeah. I, I think there's... Let me look through that real quick. Okay. Oh, it's another little, like a... Milk glass. I oh, like how that has wood. wood. Yeah. yeah. That's nice, huh? That is nice. Okay. There's one more down there. Let's what are the chances they have a bathroom in here? I'm doing I don't the pee pee dance already. Can you guys see my check. shake? <laughs> That's when I'm actually peeking. You're definitely dancing. shaking. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that looks like a piece for that one that we just pulled okay, out. Like okay. Like the little hurricane top. All right. Well, that's really cool. It is cool. Do we want to deal with a huge lamp, though? I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> the best part about this is we're going to get the boxes, too. There you go. And then we already have boxes to ship them through. That's like five bucks off the auction price right there, too. <laughs> I know. And they'll probably sell for like $2. So. <laughs> we got to get all this paper and then go to the next box. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Ooh. What do you think it is? Uh, I know it's a cow because it's mooing. Oh, it's just a cow bust. What? That it's must be a, from a cookie jar. That's, that's what I was going to say. It looks like a lid. Yeah. Hermes Association. Okay. A little Hermes Association, huh? Or Hermes. Hermes. How do you say the purses? Hermes. Hermes. No, the know. H is silent, right? Hermes. Er, oh, I don't Hermes. Know. I don't know. Who knows? I'm definitely not the one I like these big boxes. I do too, I like but... how they're just like a big old mystery. It would be nicer if my hands weren't ice cold. <laughs> I feel like I need to help you out. It's okay. And before you guys ask, I don't have gloves on because you can't work the camera as good with the gloves. Yeah, you can't, unfortunately. These are mugs. Are they naughty rabbit mugs? <laughs> Dang it. Just basic country hearts. If you want a basic country heart mug, that's the one. It right is there. cute. That is cool. And this one is uh, corning, microwave ready, and everything. <laughs> right? <laughs> you can't there beat the microwave go. ready stuff. I just don't want to open a whole bunch of mugs. No. Oh okay. man, this is a job. At this point, we're trying to get get just like to see if like we're interested in the box at all. Yeah, and I think then, so. 
the rest can be a surprise. The rest can be a mystery, depending um, on how much this stuff goes for. Because I mean, no one else is digging through this stuff. And there's not that many people here. I mean, we are. We still have like 45 minutes until it starts, but yeah. there's not even 20 people here. There's only one person we know are coming, and he's here, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, my hands. Oh man, the suspense is killing me. What is it? Oh, it's a, oh, it's a cow butter dish yeah, topper. Yeah, a lid to a butter topper. Okay. Nice. This That's might be the cow box. That thing is still moving down in here. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? Yeah, that's really nice. So it just feels like super nice. So I just flipped it inside and it's pottery born. Nice. And is that like a duvet cover? Or yeah, something? it is. And look, the, the pillowcases and stuff are in here Got too. Got the full set and everything? Yeah, with the okay. hummingbirds. I don't want to pull it out, but how gorgeous is wow. that? Wow, beautiful. Is this Dyson attachments too in here? What? Dyson attachments down in here Dyson also, stuff? yeah. Kidding me. A little uh, Minolta? I've never yeah, seen a Minolta like Konica that. Come Minolta. It must be the newer ones. Must be. Got some. Okay. Like, I'm more Dyson attachments, okay. so we want this box too. This is a box that we want. Stuffed animals. You got beanie babies down there. Normally I get kind of excited when they're fall, Jim Shore, so hopefully these are decent. Yeah. So many of them now are not even worth picking up. Yeah, they definitely gone down. Especially the angels. Uh huh. Okay, well that's a cool little box there. Yeah. Might be interested in. Huh? She's refusing to go to the well, bathroom. Well, I saw the little Jim Shore Nativity. Out. Remember we just sold those? Yeah, that's a nice set right there. But this is like one little group together. Okay. Let's see if there's more. Oh yeah. I don't think these other ones in here are Jim Shore. Okay, just other little nativities. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, the that butterflies. is very nice. Oh, that is nice. Isn't it? That's older too. It is, and it's so soft. Yeah. It has a little bit of discoloration automatically already, though. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it's that real bad down there. That is beautiful. Dang it. Okay. I know I should really go, but I, I'm having a hard time. <laughs> oh, there's more gym shorts down there. Another little gym okay. store down Let's there. Let's tuck okay. this back. Oh, there's another little guy right here, too. Okay. Nice. Okay. Note to self. Note to self. We might be bidding on this. Oh, that one's broken. Oh, no. Are you okay? I'm you just cut yourself? No, I didn't. All right. You want me to show you the couple things I found while yes. you take your quick potty break? Yes. So first of all, I think we should take a flyer on all these tall boxes, like... Um, we should take a what on them? Take a flyer, like okay. just if they're cheap, just okay. put on them. Like okay. this one right here um, has like a... Oh, almost broke that. But one of these has like a cool little gourd nativity. A gourd nativity? Yeah, well, look at this thing. Oh, cool you know how I love about gourds. Oh, Isn't that cool? That's neat. So. I mean, I saw that and I'm like, okay, we should probably just bid on this box Made if we can. Made in Peru, right? that's neat. Yeah, so we got that I found. Good and then, morning. Hello. Hey, you have how a tape you measure on you? I don't, no. sorry. I don't either. Yeah, you might be able to find one in one of these boxes. Best guess, that pole. The pole? Yeah, we're okay. the pole. The phone, oh, the phone has a measuring. Probably Do you have an like Apple phone? 20 feet. 20. Are you thinking? I don't know. I said 16. <laughs> 16, okay. So you're saying I can do this with my phone? I think there's a measuring thing, like a Get setting. Yeah, Let's yeah, see. I think it's under tools. Huh? Well, we're going to measure that pole. Do you know what the pole length is? Well, there you go. Okay. Oh. Well, you're right, right, on. right on. Good Thank job. You. You're amazing. <laughs> I try What's to be. the stock market going to do Monday? <laughs> uh, it's it's going to go down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he is my measuring person. I always ask him to because I'm not yeah. good at that. <laughs> I think my best was uh, I measured that 120 foot tree, right? Oh, yeah. Right on the dot. <laughs> uh, this one is the other one I was going to tell you about. Um, like these are really cool. Handcrafted mm -hmm. olive wood, oh, olive Bethlehem made in Israel. Nice. Oh, Candles. those are cool. Oh my good? gosh, with the chains. I've sold some of these before. Oh, have you? I have. No way. Yeah, they didn't have the stickers or this cool okay. rock showing where they were made. Yeah, and then the other thing in here, there's some Annalise stuff. Oh, okay. Christmas mm -hmm, Annalise. Mm -hmm, so. Mm -hmm. so if that goes for a dollar or two, we can. Do you think they're going to start? I don't see them starting everything. He's the lead guy, so I can ask him. I would just think with so few people here, they would have to start it more than that. There's like. Oh, started at more than that? I would think there's only 10 people. Oh, they'll probably try to start it, and then no one will bid, and then. That's not happened before. <laughs> you know, a couple questions. Okay. So I know you guys are going for smalls first. Is it going to be per box or? Per box. Per box. If, if nobody, I'm going to try to stay at about the $5 mark. Start, start at five, okay. Start at five and go. And if, if you don't like that box, oh, watch, there's two boxes. Now okay, you cool. That for five and then we're, okay, you know, cool. I'm going to try to stay because there's yeah. a lot of different stuff. And okay. 
I mean, we don't know what's in the box. I mean, I'm, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's impossible to check it, yeah, everything. Knows, we didn't. And then, are you just going to do those boxes and then straight to these? Because we're really only interested in smalls. I'm, I'm probably going to do those. The okay. only thing that might catch is depending on how long that takes us. Yeah. And where we get to. Okay. At 11 o'clock, I'm going to switch up. I'm going to sell these semis. So you have a deadline at 11. Come, okay. Then I'm going to come back and I'll do the rest of whatever we got. Okay, cool. Yep. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Yep. All right. So it's 10 03 and they haven't started yet. What the heck? <laughs> He's over there chit chatting. Yeah. Right there. I just told his son, I was talking to his son, he's like, oh, what time does this thing start? And he's like, 10 o'clock. I'm like, oh, it's 10 01. I wonder when it's going to start. So he walked over to his dad. So I'm hoping that he's telling his dad to hurry up. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, because we only have an hour until they start auctioning yeah. off some of these semi trucks. Yeah. So we need to get through all these boxes real Heck quick. Yeah, we do. Because we, we, we want to be done in an hour. I know, my toes are already like ice. Yeah. So straight ice. We'll see what happens. There's a lot more people here now. I don't know if you want to. Slowly do a little scan. Around. Yeah. Do a little scan the roomie. But uh, there's a couple ladies that have joined and they. Yeah. Where's everybody hiding? Oh, over here. There's people. <laughs> but most people aren't even digging through the boxes, really. Not really, so. but everybody's also trying to be like super discreet. Yeah. We're the only people that show stuff, but that's because of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's all good. So hopefully, uh, the dude stops talking soon. And we get started. Yep. But then there is no buyer's premium today. What? Now, Dang. you know, Governor Bashir has to get his part. So unless you give us the tax exempt forms that we need, you're going to pay the 6% sales tax as well, okay? So with that, I tell you what I was going to do, but it looks like we'll just start right up here. Right? We're just going to do these three boxes, Dave. Good? Yep. All right, so five bucks. Okay, so we just snagged this box. First of all, I haven't looked this little fairy up, and she's cool and signed on the back. Oh, yeah, nice. But this little skunk is Radco. Look at how big. So I just did a Google Lens search to confirm it was Radka since this is gone. Yeah. I haven't looked at solds, but they were listed for like two hundred fifty dollars. Oh jeez. So hopefully this is okay. like definitely worth five bucks. Yeah, and then Kinsley could have all these markers. Oh, I know. Perfect. Okay, I'm running back over. We weren't expecting over. like three boxes, but I it's know. all good. <laughs> yeah. We got all sorts of lamps. I got chimneys. I got just like a grass lamp, maybe in there. Here we go. Did you want them? I want box. Yeah, no. Uh, you know, like yeah. okay. If you're looking for a home, if you're looking for a I would be the second one on this one. Anything like that, come call on us at and Bob or any of us at Kentucky Realty Group out of Mount Stunning. Love to see you. Here we go. Now I've got two more. These are brass lamps, brass chandeliers, looks like. Five of them are going to be a little bit of 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 a little bit Keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No? Okay. Do you think so? <laughs> you get it later, huh? What's that? Later, huh? I just know they're going to keep on going higher, so that's... You got the cellars, you got the bottles, you got the whatever's in there. I'll do ten. Let him have it. 
No, I can't help it. I should make you do it. There you go. That's right. Don't be a quitter. I'm a quitter. I'm gonna give you fifteen dollars, number fifty-six. Oh no! So we're not getting in this situation. Hey, hey now, you take the head of that cow out of your pocket and give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Is anything in that box? Nah, uh, just a couple uh, lampshades. Hey, and Mary Poppins umbrella. All right, you get the lampshades and Mary Poppins umbrella. All this right here. Plus the two toes. I mean, it's going to rain again one day. <laughs> and this is a rock. No, I don't know. Keep putting it together. You know what you tell me? No. <laughs> well, all right. I tell you, here we go. Let's see. Mm. Well, not this one. Not, this one. Huh? not that one. <laughs> we only got so much room in the car. Ah, uh, uh, then, then we want There's that. There's only so much room in the car. Oh, right. No. Oh no. Bad choice. Very bad choice. <laughs> he sure will. <laughs> All right. 56. Oh my gosh, do I dare? <laughs> Our truck's gonna be full already though. <laughs> That's pretty full, yeah. Stuff right here. You get I might do it just to see what's in it since the other box had Pyrex. Just for fun? Yeah. It's got the Pyrex, looks like. Mixing cups, all sorts of stuff. There you go for your kitchen. It says dish and cups on the side. I don't know, it's hard because we don't really know. That's it. All right, twelve dollar bill. Okay, let's wait. There's something else, okay. right? Or no? Uh, you got the pottery barn in the corner. Kitchen box. Quit buying those pesky. Uh, <laughs> quit buying those pesky. That uh, reusable. All right, here we go. Pyrex. I'll just move over here for right now. Right. Right here. That's it. That's all I wanted. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The two boxes. All right. All right. All right. Two. Two dollars. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Fifty-six. Yeah. Or 56, I think. We're 56, right? 56, 56. Yeah. I lost our card. Yeah, 56. Yeah, you got it. Thank you, my gym shirt. We had to get closer for our load. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the craziest part is that it's not even over yet. I know, and like we put two bucks in, and we're already full. Okay, this is just a lampshade and all stuffing, though. So, like, this yeah. is like straight garbage. I, I just. If... What's your wonder? If. We, we could just like trash? give them a hundred bucks to just dump all the trash that we don't want, you know? Not a hundred bucks. We haven't even spent a hundred bucks. <laughs> It'd be worth it though, right? We need to give some of these people to have booths is what we need to do. I know. Make a free pile. Yeah. This yeah. one box, like actually probably one of those vases right there is going to pay for everything we've bought oh, so Oh yeah. Far. Everything's been so cheap. The yeah. only the only issue we're having is that Room? just the amount of stuff that we're getting because it keeps you know? doing the bulk things like all i wanted for that one thing was those sheets and we bought like four boxes to get them Jeez, it's still worth it oh yeah <laughs> definitely why do men act like women cannot drive out of curiosity I, oh that guy's like oh i can direct you back here so you don't uh, hit i reminded him i, I said, said oh she's a better driver than me <laughs> i also said i can drive thank you <laughs> <laughs> everybody always does that to me and i'm just like it's i rude. can drive all right, let's uh, we're gonna try to minimize some of this stuff. Yeah, all right, cool. Dishes. No, yep. no, yep. look here. Well, we got ornaments in there. A little, oh, bit. Right. a little bit of everything. 
And as I told them all day, we didn't unpack them, so you're buying the whole box right there. Final in, ripping them up, five, seven, ripping them up, ripping them up, seven, ten, ten, twelve, now fifteen, now seventeen, now twenty, now five, ripping them up, twenty-five, now thirty, thirty, and thirty-five, and now forty, ripping them up, ripping them up, thirty-five, and now forty, ripping them up, ripping them up, forty, ripping them up, thirty-seven, thirty-seven, forty, forty-two, forty-two, ten, ripping them up, ripping them up, forty-two, ripping them up, forty-two, ten, 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 ripping them up, forty-six, forty dollar number fifty-six, forty dollar number fifty-six. Okay, look here. Here's what I'm gonna do on this. You got it. Jeez. You're right. <laughs> I know they're big ones too. I know, it's good though. Here we go. $10 out of the air. Better bring them up at 10, 10, 10, 10 now. 15, better bring them up at 10. 10, 15, better bring them up at 10. 12, better bring them up at 12, 12, 12, better bring them up at 12. 10, 12, better bring them up at 12, 12, 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 12, better bring them up at 12. So $10 right there, okay. 56 how many do you want? Just this one right here. I would have taken all four. Well, yeah. not me. My <laughs> truck is full. Do you see that pile over there in my truck? <laughs> Choices have to be made. Well, I've got a bigger pile than you. <laughs> okay, so we're done bidding for the day. <laughs> Look at this pile. What in the world did we do? Okay, what is your estimate that we've spent right now? Spent? Yes. Not much less, but over 10 less bucks. Less than 200. Oh, I'm guessing. I want no. I want we like a precise guess. One. Let's see who's closer. Okay, okay. so I'm just gonna go ahead and say we spent one, 122 dollars. I was gonna say 135. Okay, that's fine. So 122, okay. 130. Let's do closer. Okay, cool. So we're gonna try to go through a little bit of this and give some of the stuff away that we don't want to these yeah. other people because they sell at like vendors booths and they can flip yeah, the stuff. Yeah, we're gonna that, try to consolidate a little yeah. bit and then we'll we'll go from there. Yeah. But yeah. And we'll let you guys know what the damage is when we get done. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh man, we got lucky just now, didn't we? <laughs> we got super lucky. So first off, this whole line of stuff right here is the stuff that we didn't really want. Yep, we just and gave this away. <laughs> yeah, and we got kind of forced into it because he was bundling stuff. Yeah. So a nice gentleman offered to take it all. He's He probably sells it like a flea market. Or yeah, something, exactly. Right? Yeah. So, so, so we probably gave away as much stuff as we have like squished in the yeah. truck. Yeah, so we could show you guys the trunk. It's the looking pretty good. Well, I did a little bit of precarious packing right here just yeah. to make sure the floorboards are full. But oh, in the bottom of the purse thing are all these things of vintage jewelry, which I'm excited to go through. But yeah, yeah we got it all in there. We're packed full. And so. then we gave another gentleman a box that's full of packing paper. <laughs> yeah, that was cool too. And uh, the best part about all this is there's, there, there's two big boxes that we uh -huh. haven't even looked through yet. So we just decided to put those directly in the car. Yep. So that's all, all gonna be a surprise for us. And uh, the rest is, we went through so fast, we need to go through again. Yeah. So, and yeah. the actual most bestest part, most bestest, y'all yeah, well, like that, is, it? Yeah. is that the total was $126 and like 20 cents. Yeah, so we got to watch back on the cameras. Did we do our guesses on camera? We did our guesses on camera, but I don't okay. remember. I just remember mine was in the 120s and yours was in the 130s. Mine so it's going to be like a nail biter. Yeah, so if it's 126 and you're in the 120, you definitely won. I, so. think, I, I think I got it. <laughs> nice job. Okay, so we're going to get the stuff back home and then. Uh, oh man, we have our work cut out for yeah, us. Yeah, we got to go, go through all this stuff, so. Updates right. to come. Yeah. All right, guys, we are back home and it is about two days after the auction. And Matt and I have been listing all of this stuff like crazy. The house is kind of tore up with every surface with things to show you guys. Now, we're somewhere close to $3,000 in stuff for the $126 that we paid for all of these items. Now, uh, I'm going to show you guys one little pile of stuff first because everything sitting right here has already sold and I need to ship it like right now before my mail gets picked up in one hour. So right here we have $412 worth of things that have already sold. This sold for $45. It's a miniature carved nativity scene signed by a known artist, Joe Offerman of Owensboro, Kentucky. And thankfully there is another piece of his in the mix. This is like a little clay nativity scene that sold for $19 plus shipping. This little fairy, she sold for $30. She's made of pewter and she sits on the edge like so, just adorable and she's also signed on the back uh, somebody York of 1992. Then we have this little willow tree of a family and child entitled New Life and it sold for $22. As you guys can see this person really appreciated their nativity uh, figures or scenes. We have this Jim Shore ornament that sold for $19. This little carved wood 
ornament that sold for 12. This one is also carved of Mother Mary and Baby Jesus that sold for $16. And then we have this resin. Uh, this is made by Yankee Candle and this one sold for $20. Then we have this little art class birdie that sold for 24 bucks. Now we've sold two purses already. I paid $5 for the purse bin and numerous other things. And you guys are just literally not going to believe how much money was in the bottom of that bin hiding. Uh, first of all, though, the coach bag sold for $45 overnight. And then this beautiful Brahmin bag is made out of crocodile leather and it sold for $139. So I've now gotten I'm everything packaged up from the auction and of course my normal sales, but we already had something else sell from this auction haul for 150 bucks. So this is pretty much what we kept out of those large boxes of kitchenware. This is what sold for $150. So there are 63 pieces of this beautiful Oneida set. It's called Maestro and it sold overnight. Now this Oneida set was also in the mix. This is the Michelangelo pattern, which sells for big bucks. Now, these are all brand new, each individually wrapped in their little tissue. Now, just a set of like the five serving utensils, new, sells for about $80. And then there's also this entire set of little, I don't know what you would call these, olive forks maybe, also in the mix. Uh, these three cute little juice glasses, I think we listed for 20 bucks. We have the cow. All of these are Department 56, the set of three three here is worth about $50. And then this little guy moves off and on every time you open the lid. And I think he sells for 30 ish or we'll listen him for 30. This beautiful set is made in Italy. It's made by serve or survey. And this set I listed for just over a hundred dollars. Very rare. Couldn't find this polka dot pattern anywhere. Now I have these two Linux sets and these are the presidential collection of columbia made in the usa all of these pieces are all new with tags each individual little saucer still has the tags on the bottom now a set of two of these exactly like this last sold for two hundred dollars i have them listed uh, individually for $89.99 for the five-piece set. This is just a cool little Kentucky Derby glass that we didn't want to donate. I think it's worth like 15 ish There is a variation that has like a federal mark on the bottom that sells for upwards of like $75 or $80. That is not the one that we have though. And then just these cute little pink set of four utensils that are worth about 20 bucks. These are all the other little nativities, a basic little Jim Shore ornament, and just all these beautiful little scenes. All, it looks like they were a traveler and got one from Brazil and Peru and Indonesia. We have this one made in the gourd out of banana leaves. This originally came from Cracker Barrel, but surprisingly, it has some pretty decent value. A three, well, uh, one very similar to this, but with them all on a piece together connected, sold for $100. So I have mine listed for about the same price. Now this simple but beautiful piece is Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. And this is the other one that was made by the artist Joe Offerman. And I have it listed for $45. While most of these other ones are, you know, closer to like 15-ish. Those are two really good ones in the mix. Now these random things, nobody bid on this. So I was forced at $5. I could not leave it behind. It's a beautiful mid-century fireplace set with the cool little ducks on the top. And this last sold for 90 bucks and there's sold comps all the way up to like 150. This box I picked up only for this sheet set. These are Pottery Barn. It's a duvet with two matching king pillows. Just this duvet last sold for $90. And we have the three piece set. This is a Radco Disney collaboration. This is Flower from the Bambi movie. And I didn't see any of these ornaments listed for less than $200. Now, there's only one that has sold recently, and it was on an auction for, I believe, $65. Bucks. Um, ours is missing the little top hanger thing that can obviously be replaced. But I'm not going to list this for anything less than $50. This beautiful paperweight, I have not yet listed because I have not been able to identify the maker 
that is signed on the bottom and some similar to this have sold for around $100. So I don't want to list that just too quickly. Um, this cool little Sinclair um, dinosaur mug actually sells. I think we listed ours for about $18. This little bottom part comes off and you stick it to your dash so you can just slide the cup in and it won't uh, slide around. So it's pretty cool. These are just a bunch of vintage like little recipe booklets and pamphlets and it's worth about 50 bucks. Uh, the two Jim Shore figures that we got were both actually pretty decent. This cornucopia sells consistently for around $50. And this little scarecrow sells for anywhere from $30 to like $45. I think we have him listed at $35. It was a little unfortunate the way the auctioneer was like adding extra boxes. Because this bin of purses got put in with like three other things that we did not want. But I paid $5.00. For the bin nonetheless and keep in mind we already sold that coach bag for $45 and the other Brahmin bag for $139. Now we have another Brahmin crossbody that sells for about $125. This Brahmin has a little splitting of the strap so it's only listed for $65. This one was new to me, Lotus, this little scaly clutch and this these sell consistently for $50 plus dollars and I have this one listed for $50. And then we have this last Brahmin crocodile shoulder bag that I have listed for 115 So we're already at $500 just in the handbags and I have not got to the best part that was in the bottom of the box. Before we do, we're going to talk about these vases really quick. This one really surprised me more than any that there wasn't um, other bidders bidding against us. So we have 10 pieces here and they're all signed by the artist Thomas Buckner on the bottom. Now check this out. So all 10 of the Vitrix listings total for $1,302. So in the bottom of the purse bin, as I was loading the car, I showed you that there were four of these little jewelry Tupperwares in the bottom. Now on top, they just looked like some nice quality costume jewelry, but in the mix and across the bottom were some real gems. Okay, so here are just some of the pretty little pieces of costume jewelry that I really haven't even started to look into because obviously there were some real beauties in there that took my attention right away. So there was one set that I am keeping for myself and it's this beautiful set of pearls with these real gold um, 14 karat pearl dangle earrings. Now I found the exact earrings for $46 and I have the earrings and uh, the matching necklace there. Uh, all these other things in here, so let's see, uh, all of this side, not that. All of this side is real gold, except this watch is just gold plated. And then all the things on this side are silver. However, uh, the majority of these pieces, all of them that have the little uh, diamond accents, I have been testing with my diamond tester. And the majority of these are real diamonds. This has real diamonds. The matching earrings are real. This is sterling, and all of these are actual precious stones. Again, this one is sterling. This is the only one in the whole box that does not have an actual real precious stone. Uh, I only know that because this little tester it has the hardness meters, and then it has a little graph that goes along with it, so you can... Um, uh, figure out which stone is which. Now, on to the gold side. Well, this watch, actually no, this watch is gold plated and has sold comps anywhere from 60 to like $120. This one is made by uh, Richard, oh, I've got it upside down, <laughs> uh, Richard Weil. And then this beautiful Movado watch, it's just simply gold tone and has no real gold in it. But this watch has sold on auction for $65 and then it sold again for $185. So we have $200 in just those two watches there. This ring also I found a sold comp for $30. It's made by Stour and is just sterling silver. Then we have these little earrings, which also have diamonds on the top and the green precious stones, 14 karat gold. Same with this ring, 14 karat gold. And those are testing as real diamonds. These earrings are the only thing that's broken. So that little guy at the top is a real diamond on 14 carats with the precious stone dangles. And then this beautiful 14 karat gold bracelet that has the pink sapphires and diamonds in between each one. I honestly have no clue how to value this set and we have our work cut out for us <laughs> doing so. But man, what a score, you guys. And I still literally cannot believe that we got all of these beautiful things for just $5. And the crazy part is we donated over half of the stuff. Crazy, crazy, crazy auction haul. I will 
well, we will probably never again get this amount of stuff for $125, especially this quality. I know this was a long video, but I do hope you guys enjoyed it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in a couple days with another video.